Released on September 9, 1999, the Sega Dreamcast was one of the best consoles ever made, albeit with a relatively short lifespan. While facing stiff competition from the PlayStation 1 and 2, it left a lasting impact on the gaming industry with a diverse library of titles. Today we'll revisit the Dreamcast and explore the top 10 games for this console. Keep in mind that there were many great games for the Dreamcast, so we'll also share some honorable mentions that didn't quite make the list at the end of this video. At the 10th spot, we have Fantasy Star Online. This game marked a significant milestone as the first online RPG for home consoles. Sega's chairman recognized the potential of online gaming and tasked the Sonic team with creating Fantasy Star Online. Originally, the game was intended to have a short lifespan of 2-3 months. However, its remarkable success in Japan led to continued support for several years. In Fantasy Star Online, players could choose from three classes, Hunters, Rangers, and Force. Hunters excelled in melee combat, rangers were skilled sharpshooters, and course characters specialized in magical abilities. Before tackling the area's boss, it was important to make sure your characters were suitably prepared. After defeating these bosses, you'd unlock new areas and gain access to side quests. Playing on higher difficulty levels rewarded players with better items and unlocked the final level. The online component set it apart from other games of its time, although it faced issues with cheating due to the integration of offline characters in the online mode. While Fantasy Star Online had its flaws, it rightfully earns its place among the top 10 Dreamcast games. At number 9 we have NFL 2K1. The Dreamcast's hardware capabilities allowed for highly lifelike player models, featuring detailed character face scans. It offered true-to-life stadium renditions and fast-paced realistic football gameplay. NFL 2K1 pushed graphical boundaries, even simulating details like players exhaling cold air in snowy games. The game posed a significant challenge to the dominant Madden NFL series in the early 2000s, outselling the PlayStation 2's Madden NFL 2001 that year. It received universal acclaim for refining the gameplay introduced in the original NFL 2K, which was already considered an outstanding football game. NFL 2K1 introduced online features not present in NFL 2K, allowing players to engage in online matches and download team roster updates throughout the season for the first time. With over 2,000 motion-captured animations, the game offered a smooth and immersive experience. NFL 2K1 was a premier gaming football experience in its time, and it remains among the top 10 Dreamcast games today. At number 8, we have The Blue Blur making an appearance in Sonic Adventure 2. While the first 3D Sonic game made its debut on the Sega Genesis and Sega Saturn, it was the original Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast that truly ushered in the era of great 3D Sonic games. Released three years after the first Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2 was considered even better than its predecessor. Two decades have passed since its release and with several new installments, including releases for the PS5 and Xbox Series X it is widely recognized as the best of the 3D Sonic titles. The game built on the foundation of the first Sonic Adventure, maintaining the blazing fast pace that defines Sonic games. Right from the game's introductory level, it set an intense tone as you found yourself sprinting downhill to evade a semi-truck. Sonic Adventure 2 boasted some of the finest music in any Sonic game. It also allowed players to experience both the hero and villain sides of the story, featuring Sonic and Shadow respectively. The game also improved on the Tamagotchi-like child raising feature, offering a delightful break from the action. In its time, Sonic Adventure 2 stood out as one of the best 3D platformers, and remains a cherished gem for Sonic fans and Dreamcast owners. Kick flipping its way in at number 7 is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. While originally developed for the PlayStation, the Dreamcast version provided the ultimate skateboarding experience. With its imaginative level design, memorable soundtrack, and refinements to the winning formula of the original, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 became an instant classic. The game garnered praise from critics and even earned several Game of the Year awards upon its release. Tony Hawk 2 introduced the manual feature, allowing players to maintain their combo by rolling on two wheels between tricks. The game featured tight controls, making it satisfying to string together a sequence of tricks, and falling during a combo didn't feel unfair. The level design was crafted with the new mechanics in mind, offering players ample opportunities to express their creativity on the skateboard. Additionally, the inclusion of a skate park editor and the Create a Skater feature allowed players to design their own stages and customize skaters with unique movesets. Considered one of the best games of all time, it's no surprise that Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 secures a spot on our list of the top 10 games for the Dreamcast. Securing the 6th spot is Power Stone 2, a 3D platform fighting game. 
the first Power Stone made its debut as a Dreamcast launch title, originally ported from the arcade. Power Stone 2 arrived as a greatly improved sequel nearly a year later. As evident from the character design, the game was crafted by Capcom, renowned for their expertise in fighting games. Power Stone 2 introduced chaotic 4-player 3D brawls, a first for the series, offering a compelling alternative to the ultra-popular Super Smash Bros. at the time. The 3D arenas featured varying heights and destructible objects. Characters moved freely in these arenas, utilizing weapons and items like chairs, stage turrets, and other elements to create unique battles. If you want to experience Power Stone 2 today, you'll need a Dreamcast, as it remains the sole platform for this all-time classic. With rumors swirling in 2023 of a return 20 plus years later, fans are eagerly awaiting a follow-up to the iconic Dreamcast game. At the fifth spot, we have Skies of Arcadia. This game offers a unique experience with a rotating camera that allows players to explore every corner of the world without sacrificing detail. The vibrant and expansive world was a visual spectacle, and the game truly shined in this regard. While it falls in line with other JRPGs with turn-based battles, it's not the combat system that sets Skies of Arcadia apart. What makes it exceptional is its emphasis on exploration. Flying into uncharted territories with your airship evokes a sense of wonder, beautifully brought to life by the game's artistic direction. The airship itself is customizable, with options for upgrades and modifications that enhance both its abilities and appearance. Ship battles add another layer of strategy, requiring thoughtful turn management during combat, adding depth to an already expansive game. The game's soundtrack complements the gameplay seamlessly, with memorable moments like the battle theme when the enemy Lynx prepares to fire its cannons. With a charming cast of characters and an immersive world, Skies of Arcadia rightfully earns its place among the top games for the Dreamcast. Claiming the fourth spot, Jet Set Radio! We have Jet Set Radio, also known as Jet Grind Radio in the US version. This cell shaded, vibrant game was truly one of a kind, inviting players to skate through Tokyo while engaging in a graffiti turf war with rival gangs. You could grind along designated paths, known as grind lines, and use spray paint to leave your mark on walls and objects with a unique brand. Amidst all the artistic expression, authorities pursued you in a 5-star GTA-style pursuit to thwart your graffiti adventures. The game had an exceptional soundtrack, and its distinctive gameplay was incredibly addictive. Despite its challenging difficulty and time constraints, Jet Set Radio embodied the essence of what made the Dreamcast special. The game's unmatched sense of style set it apart, and no top 10 Dreamcast list would be complete without it. Yeah. As we ascend to the top 3, we come across a classic entry in the iconic Resident Evil Survival Horror series, Resident Evil Code Veronica. Set a couple of months ahead of the events in Resident Evil 2 and 3, Code Veronica marked the franchise's transition to the next generation of gaming. The game's atmosphere was genuinely chilling as players assumed the role of Claire Redfield, who finds herself imprisoned by the sinister Umbrella Corporation. Claire's mission revolves around searching for her brother, Chris Redfield, continuing the storyline from Resident Evil 2. Along the way, players encountered intimidating foes, including the infamous Tyrant. One significant enhancement for Resident Evil on the Dreamcast was the graphics, as it featured full 3D environments in place of the previously pre-rendered background. This brought a new level of detail, impacting lighting and other graphical aspects throughout the game. At the time, Resident Evil Code Veronica stood as one of the top survival horror games ever created, and it continues to be revered both as a top-tier entry in the Resident Evil series and as one of the best titles ever developed for the Dreamcast. At the second spot, we have Marvel vs. Capcom 2 New Age of Heroes. The Dreamcast was renowned for its exceptional arcade ports and this game was no exception. It brought the complete arcade experience to living rooms around the world for Dreamcast owners. Featuring 56 playable characters and teams of 3 with 3 different assist types to choose from, it offered countless ways to assemble your dream team. The graphics translated from the arcade version featured smooth and detailed 3D backdrops. The high-speed action set to jazzy music created an unforgettable crossover fighting game experience. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cultivated a dedicated fan base with players continuously refining their skills and exploiting the game's mechanics, leading to a thriving competitive scene that endures to this day. If you didn't own a Dreamcast, your alternative was to invest your hard-earned quarters at the arcade, as Marvel vs. Capcom 2 didn't see a release on the PlayStation. Most notably, the PlayStation struggled with handling the tag team gameplay featured in the original Marvel vs. Capcom. This iconic fighting game was a cherished title for Dreamcast owners and remains an essential entry as one of its best games. 
Securing the top honor as the best game on the Dreamcast, we have the original Soul Calibur. This game is the sequel to the PS1 and arcade weapon-based fighter Soul Blade. Setting it apart from its predecessor and other 3D fighters like Tekken, Soul Calibur introduced the innovative 8-way run movement, allowing characters to move freely in 8 different directions. Originally a port from the arcade, Soul Calibur found itself even more graphically impressive on the Dreamcast and offered additional features, which was quite remarkable for its time. The game marked a significant evolution in the 3D fighting game genre, captivating fans with its depth of gameplay and a wide variety of weapons and fighting styles across its 19 characters. Boasting a Metacritic score of 98, Soul Calibur has earned its place as one of the most highly rated games ever. Soul Calibur is one of the greatest games of all time and also stands as the best game ever made for the Sega Dreamcast. Selecting only 10 games proved to be a challenge as the Dreamcast produced dozens of iconic games. Here are a few games that narrowly missed the list but are honorable mentions as top games on the platform. One notable title that narrowly missed the top 10 is racing game Test Drive Le Mans. Based on the annual 24-hour endurance-focused sports race in France, this game served as a showcase for the Dreamcast's capabilities. The attention to detail in the game's sound design aimed to replicate the real-life engine sounds and tires turning, with features like 4-player split-screen, responsive controls, and visuals that push the boundaries of its era, Test Drive Le Mans stands as the top racing game on the platform. When it was first released in 1999, there was nothing quite like Shenmue. Its visuals were ambitious and groundbreaking for the time, crafting a game world with a dynamic and evolving community. Characters in the game adhered to routines, going to work in the morning and returning home at night. The inclusion of quick-time events and mini-games complemented its intricate narrative. Shenmue represented a costly gamble for Sega that, in the end, didn't yield the expected returns. Nevertheless, it remains a noteworthy milestone in the history of gaming since its release. NBA 2K1 marked a substantial improvement over the original, delivering a polished and authentic basketball experience. The game featured more detailed textures, lifelike player models, and fluid, realistic movements. While its online capabilities may not have matched those of NFL 2K1, NBA 2K1 set a high standard for the subsequent entries in the NBA 2K series. Although it didn't quite make the top 10, it is certainly deserving of an honorable mention. Grandia 2 is fueled by an endearing cast of characters, captivating visuals, and an enjoyable turn-based battle system. While it may not have been considered groundbreaking, Grandia 2 offered a well-rounded JRPG experience that met the expectations of a console with limited RPG offerings. In a landscape where titles like Fantasy Star Online and Skies of Arcadia competed for attention, this game may have missed the top 10, but deserves its place as one of the top games on the Dreamcast. Although Res never made its way to North America on the Dreamcast, it brought a unique and refreshing gaming experience. Res can be best defined as a musical rail shooter, unlike anything that came before it. Its visual presentation was striking, featuring memorable stages and epic boss battles. Much like Jet Set Radio and Space Channel 5, this game stands out for its creativity and rightfully earns its place among the best games on the Dreamcast. Arriving on the Dreamcast in 2000, one year after its arcade release, Crazy Taxi is a prime example of an arcade-to-home transition done right. The game immerses players in a frenzy of city driving where you can pull off crazy combos while a conspicuous arrow guides you to your destination. Crazy Taxi offered depth, particularly when it comes to its vehicle handling. The lively soundtrack and vibrant visuals made it a game that's hard to step away from. While it leans more towards an arcade experience, it remains a timeless classic that continues to deliver enjoyable gameplay today. That about does it for the top 10 Dreamcast games and some honorable mentions. The Dreamcast has so many iconic games that any list is going to be controversial to some fans. Are you one of those fans? Did we snub one of your favorites? Be nice and let us know in the comments below. That's it for now, until next time.